Hello everyone and welcome to the Coastal Cottage uh, settlement tour. We we're finished here, it's decorated, it's built and it's complete. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through this thing and explain what the hell's going on. So of course this is a repurposed commandeered raider outpost, right? So what they've done is they've, you know, uh, exterminated the raiders. This was apparently a larger raider outpost than most because it's, you know, it's remote and they had a, you know, a good time getting rid of them. But in order to keep the raiders from coming back, what they've done is they've dressed like raiders so that anyone that comes by will think that this is still raider outpost. And they have hidden the things that make it non-raidery. So uh, in the front, we got a couple of guard stations. You got one guard here with a turret overlooking the main approach. And uh, we go down here. And of course, since this was a raider outpost, everything is really sparse. There's not a lot of scaving around here. So they don't really have a lot of materials. The provisioners come by, but they don't really have a lot. So there's gonna be a lot of sleeping bags uh, and a lot of food. They are very, very food centric here because food is somewhat uncommon, but they've got themselves a little facilities there. And uh, you know, this is their, the, the guards uh, thing. The thing about this particular place is it is really guard heavy. Half of the settlers are guards. There are 10 people here, five are guards. So the other one is over here, and it's got a nice little balcony where they can run along here and take cover in case anything comes up the ramp. We got, you know, this stud here with his minigun on a tripod, but they've got really good sight lines to anything coming down that road, that main approach there. So he's cool there. And then of course in here, a little, you know, area where you can have sit down, have lunch, more sleeping bags and uh, various things that they use, but they don't really have a lot. No storage in here at all. They don't have any place to keep anything here. So these are the front two guard posts. Now for the main workshop thing, this is like the player house, command center, um, you know, central, the nerve center, I guess, of the place. So um, the players got, you know, the main workbench, of course, and a little administrative area. Again, nothing special, nothing terribly fancy, just something that he needs to uh, keep track of things. And a very rudimentary sleeping area with very rudimentary storage. He doesn't spend a lot of time here. There isn't really much to do here, you know. And uh, in the back, he has a little patio, makes his food and takes a break, sits down, has lunch, has a cigarette, reads. Real Spartan there. Another missile turret up here, which again, has a perfect sight line right down to the ramp. So anything coming up that ramp just gets to business. And then uh, to communicate with the rest of the settlements, they have the uh, standardized uh, you know, communications disc, which of course points right at Bench Farm. And some various supplies. This one didn't break very much. They got lucky on this one. It doesn't really get a lot of, have a lot of problems. So there's, the, oh, and let's not forget the command room. So the two command rooms are in here, the computer center as it were. And uh, again, not a lot of time spent here, so they don't have a lot of stuff here. It's just, they just keep track of stuff. And when they hear, you know, stuff coming in, they come out and check it out or whatever it is they do to keep track of things. And then we have yet another guard over here. Again, looking at everything, ignore the floating platform. That'll come into play later. That's not part of the settlement. That's just the observation deck. Then the main house was the uh, previous Raiders uh, central home. So uh, it's, more solid, more sturdy. They have a little uh, lounging area here where they sit out and, uh, you know, shoot the crap with the farmers. <laughs> it's like whatever the hell it is he does. And his home in here is, um, again, basic. Some, uh, some supplies, the stuff they really need. Uh, it's got some valuables here on the shelf. And, uh, yeah, ceiling fan. A little mesh to keep the bugs out. Didn't want to bother patching the wall, I guess. So the provision, oh, the guard station. Let's go to the guard station. So the guard station, the other guard station is up here. Anyone who tries to assault this place gets a shotgun in the face. So there's that. And of course, she's keeping an eye on the, uh, the approach as well. And this other guard here, who really likes to stand around with her minigun, can see the back gate very, very well. Oh, hey, 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 point that thing away from me. Gun, to, hey, hey, hey. But their storage area, because they don't get to leave this place very much, so that's what they get to keep. And they've got some backup weapons here in case things go sideways. But she, of course, she can, again, she can see really good. She can see the other guard yell at him, whatever the hell it is they do. 
So that's the central area. And then uh, what do we got? Provision area. So the provision area, if you've seen the previous video, you saw this decorated, has not changed. It's, you know, whatever inventory they can get. Lots of real heavy on guns and ammunition because it's like, wow. And of course, water. Purified water is a, a big draw here. Uh, the valuables area has mostly chems, alcohol, uh, guns, and armor. That's what they're storing down here with extra cash and whatever the hell's in that safe. I'm not quite sure what's in that safe. This came out pretty nice. Convincing. Let me go up. And then the only way from the front to the back is around this side right here. The settlers can path through here, which is nice. They don't have any problem navigating this. So we go around the back, and then we've got the doctor's office here with another um, observation post. Another missile turret looking over the main area. But they've got some crops back here. Scattering of... Uh, potatoes and carrots and corn so they can make vegetable soup just doing their job just working away like they're supposed to be doing and then the doctor here has the chem station but he's got his uh, supply his stock his working stuff whatever it is over here and his personals over here and then uh, more storage back there just you know stuff he needs or he's a pretty rough doctor I'm not interested dude thanks but no then the second field is over here in this little uh, this little carve out here with the walls around. And they got two more guys working out here with another turret watching that main approach. This thing is so weak, it doesn't really matter. It's just really a noisemaker at this point to keep an eye on that approach because sometimes you get wild animals straying up through here. And then the, um, what's that dog doing up there, really dude? And then this is what they turned the house from Easy City Downs into, um, a bar, rest area. They gather here pretty well at night. They don't have any problems pathing through here. Sometimes they'll use the weapons workbench in here. And, you know, storage for the bartender and her her bunk mate there. She's over here getting ready to do some business with her hat. Her hat is very stylish. Basic Spartan sleeping quarters, lots of drugs, and her back stock inventory. She keeps the valuables under the bar there. I guess Quantum is... Uh, in short supply here? I don't know. But she likes to keep it under the deck there with her, her cap stash. And then we'll go out the front here. More seating. Another chill area over here. Mentats in a book. I guess they're trying to learn something. I don't know. But the fence goes around here. And this up here is another lounge area. Where they can just kind of sit and see, the, you know, a dog's butt, I, I guess. And uh, just sort of chill out over the settlement. A lot of open space here, which is kind of nice. This this half was kind of nice. It, it worked out that way. But two areas up, two areas down, two stairways. And then the last sleeping quarters over here on the back, another, this was the uh, Quincy Quarry one, has more food. Lots of food, lots of food, lots of food. A really basic sitting area, some lockers, more food here, and a reminder to eat well. Eat well, live well. Sleeping accommodations with some personal effects here on the ground and uh, more lockers. And then the last guard is over here. Spends a lot of time up here because it's kind of hard to get here. You know, you got to kind of walk all the way around and stuff. So he has more supplies than most of them do. He likes prepackaged food for some reason and beer. Good combination, right? Strong bones and whatnot. And then the last thing we have here as we go around counterclockwise almost forgot is their power they bolted this little workshop shack thing onto the side and have a fusion core generator in here uh, this thing's open because the back wall is open this keeps the rain out of the back of it that's all it really does and you know chain link fences to keep uh keep the critters out but this is your typical um working area a little diagnostic bench here with tools and pincers and extra fusion cores and more some more spare parts for the fusion core generator it's pretty reliable they haven't really had to use much stuff with it yet but just in case here's pretty much everything they need to keep it in fine fettle as it were and some vault plans they rolled up and scavenged out of the various vaults that is i think about it for this one yeah that's the whole thing folks so what i'm going to do is let's go ahead and stop right here and then i will go up to that platform so i will be back up there in just one moment so a quick pan of the whole settlement. This thing pretty much is is knocking on the boundaries 
the entire way. It's this is full. I mean, it doesn't look full because there's all the all those traffic patterns, but since there was so much dirt and the weeds and stuff, I was able to really make it look organic, I guess, like it was grown off of the actual terrain. And I did get to keep a lot of the trees, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. But here you go. This is the entire settlement. This is about a size bar and a half, I think, because I actually did remember to reset the size bar before I started. But there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and center on that dish and then we will do a night tour. So another pan of eight and I will be right back. And then, of course, nighttime is pretty dark, even though they've got 100, 100 power here, because you don't want to have a lot of light blasting all over the, uh, the landscape here, because as you can see, this is pretty high up, and it's pretty visible from anywhere down by Salem. It's visible from Macra. So you, we wanted to keep it somewhat dim, yet, you know, livable and friendly and what have you. Of course, the inventory, the provisioner place is lit up really good. So let's go over the top here and go down the front and repeat and retrace our steps from the beginning. So down we go. La da 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 da. Anybody out here? Hopefully I don't get attacked. So here's what it looks like from the street at night. Very nondescript, very low key. But inside the rooms, inside the stuff, they've got plenty of lights so they can see. And it's good enough to where it won't ruin their night vision. Lanterns hanging everywhere. A lot of lanterns, a lot of candlelight here. They have, for some reason, they have a surplus of oil in this place. I don't know where they're getting all the oil from, but um, maybe they're getting from the provisioner. They're saying, hey, we don't really need this. We'll trade you fusion cores because we don't really use that power that much. So, yeah. So we'll go over here to this other one. Again, the light only focuses on what they actually knew, use and need so they can see very well at night. And he's just hanging out there. And then, of course, there's a bunch of crates back here. They just kind of dump those there. And uh, yeah, we'll go in here. So the porch here, some low, some dim orange lights, and of course two dogs blocking the way because I couldn't, get, I couldn't possibly get lucky and be, get in there, right? Because that's how this works. Yeah, I can't get in there. Okay, so let's pretend we went in there. We'll go to the command center, see if they make their way out by the time I get back. But, dude, seriously? Maybe I should just kill these dogs before I do this thing next time. But the workshop, some, some, you know. Maintenance tools, no lights here at night because he doesn't really use that thing at night. He doesn't really do a lot of night work here. And uh, his little lounge area. And this is lit up pretty well because they do need to see things in here to make notes or document stuff or whatever the hell it is they do here. So there's that. Then we'll go back up to the top here. And of course, the, no, not that one. Too many stairways in this thing. <laughs> go up to the top. Plenty of light coming up underneath so they can do maintenance if they need to at night. But again, that dish doesn't really require a lot of maintenance. Now let's see if we can go back in that other thing and see if those dogs have cleared it out. Uh, they probably have not though, right? Uh, yeah, no, everybody's just standing in the doorway, so... Idiots. Okay. Anywho. The porch looks like this. That's kind of nice. I think that's kind of cool. Kind of. Oh, you know we'll peek in the window. That's what it looks like at night since we got idiot settlers and idiot dogs clogging up the doorway. Uh, the guards are up here. And that light, these lights don't like to light up. That light should be much, much brighter than it is, but it's not, of course. But there's storage and of course there are emergency supplies here. Nothing much, uh, like I said, real bare bones. Nothing. <laughs> they don't have a lot of uh, frills here, as it were. I don't know why they put a door in here. It's so breezy in here from the walls having holes in them, but whatever. And they got a fan in here to keep everything cool, keep it lit. Pretty dark. And of course, the provisioner area, very well lit. I didn't look at the desk the last time. We'll, we'll check the desk out this time. Too many small little set piece areas. I forget what's <laughs> I forget what's where. But the administrative area, again, you, if you've watched the last video, you saw this thing decorated, so. No surprises here. Everything's pretty much the same. Nice and uh, spare, but organized. And this time, let's see, let's go around the side and we'll go over to the doctor's place. Field are nice and dark, everything's pretty dark. We'll go up here like I didn't do last time, turn the light on so you can see this. A little cozy, you know, rest area, food supplies, extra ammo, coffee. 
a chair where they can just, you know, watch the road up from the Nakanos in case anything comes down from there, who knows. They're a little wary of since coming down from, uh, getting off the boat from uh, Far Harbor. There's that, and then the bar area is over here. And it's nicely lit, but yeah, you can see they, they tend to gather here, at least the ones that don't get stuck in buildings, you know. <laughs> and uh, good lighting, nice and uh, good focus lighting, good emphasis lighting, whatever. And then up here we've got their area. A small little night light. I guess they have night terrors over here or something. Yeah. Somebody's got a teddy bear for their comfort. And no lights for this guy because, of course, he's a guard. But there's plenty of moonlight, so he's no problem seeing. And I think that's all of it. So let's go around the outside of this thing so you can see the whole wall from the outside. Kind of hard to navigate. I hope I don't run into anything. But we come from, if you come up this approach, down from the bottom, it's uh, you can see there's stuff in there, but that that entrance is pretty uh, forbidding. And the back of the house is here. Hopefully I don't run into any trees. But yeah, it's uh, it's barricaded up pretty good. And they've got, you know, chain link fences. They can see anything coming. And then duck back behind the wall if they have to. But uh, watch out for that tree. And the guard post is here. And the wall goes all the way around the outside. More chain link fences here. And then this is his courtyard with, you know, the dish and the other chain link fence here. Easier to just put chain link on that one, I think. They just went ahead and did that. Avoid that never despawning Mirelert Queen spit. And then if you go down over here, the promontory is solidly walled off all the way around. There's no other way in. So yeah, anybody coming up here is going to have real problems if they even make it that far with all those turrets pointing at them. So let's go back up here. Let's see if I can, go back. Let's see if I can get back up here. There we go. All right. Come back in the gate. But this is it. This is the whole thing. Guards out looking everywhere. Turrets pointing every which way. Um, a good solid, a good solid mega build, provisioner outpost, and, um, you know, really rough village type of thing. Did you guys come out? Can I go in there yet? No, you're still blocking the door. I guess they're stuck. Okay, so uh, where are we going to go? Let's go up to the guard, the guard post. We'll sign off from up there, I think, if she gets out of the way. Da -da -da. Go over this way. But yeah, there we go. There's Coastal Cottage in the can. Mega build, I think, 13 or 14, something like that. No idea when I'm going to come back to this next, but for now, this is a nice, tidy little settlement. And we'll point it right there. I hope this gives you some ideas. I hope this is something that you enjoyed. I hope this is um, interesting and exciting and valuable for you. So I want to thank you all very much for liking, subscribing, and watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.